I'm John Skinner, and this supports Chapter 20 in my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. This is mostly a review of the Pen Clash spinning reel. It came out in the fall of 2015, but uh, we're going to put in some false albacore fishing as well. The key to this fishing is to skip a small metal tin. I use a number two deadly dick and uh, crank it across. Watch the cranking speed here. Top speed on a high speed reel, as fast as I can reel, skipping that tin, and there's the hit. Bang. Uh, and then once you hook one of these things, they run. And we're going to show a few seconds of this fight and uh, let you see it taking some drag. All right, let's hook up another one here. So this is another cast. Um, this time we're going to focus on looking at the tip of the rod, really doing nothing special. I'm just cranking as fast as I can, just like you saw in the previous hookup. And there we go. So I have over 100 videos on my YouTube channel, and this is the first time I'm reviewing a spinning reel, and I'm doing that because I think it really warrants it. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure you heard that screaming drag, and there's one aspect of this reel, a very smooth drag, but it's not just that. Um, it's sealed top and bottom, and where it's made a lot of difference for me is that I, I tend to fish in uh, choppy rough water a lot, and the reel gets splashed. And I fished this reel extremely hard, uh, for well over a month landed over 200 of these false albacore on this reel and I never had to open the reel up I never had to deal with the drag washers the drag stayed dry so that was one very important thing because of the fast retrieve speed I make a lot of casts doing this kind of fishing and it really helps that uh, these are the lightest weight reels that pen make pen made adjustments to the oscillation speed on this reel and the result is it's very braid friendly no wind knots it has sealed ball bearings and very importantly a fully machined gear train and the result there is that the gears are very durable and very smooth and I fished this reel extremely hard and you're going to see in a minute that uh, there was no degradation on the smoothness of the reel this is the Clash 4000 they make seven different sizes Despite many hours of casting and high speed cranking and landing over 200 false albacore, this reel is as smooth as when it came out of the box. I've done nothing to it. I've not opened it up. I have not put any oil in it. This is the result of the machine main gears. If you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel.